Hello everybody and welcome to this video where it's Thursday so obviously I have to piss a bunch of people off because that's kind of what we do here you know it's like okay like a few days have gone by and um, nobody's raging out at me so I need to fix that and what I will say about this that that is not the reason why I'm doing this video but I'm noticing a trend that at least once a week I come across something here on the tubes and I get so annoyed and so frustrated with it that I'm like, I should fucking say something. You want to know why? Check this out. I have this ridiculous notion in my head that people give a fuck about what I say. And if I say something, people will go, yes, the motherfucker has a point. I think we should listen. But honestly, in actuality, I'm probably just a fucking old fucker yelling about shit. So here we go. Um, this is going to be kind of strange, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like a tip, maybe. Maybe a tip for viewers. Over the last month or so, um, some shit has come up on the tubes here about how... Um, the comments, the comment field, is the most important place here on the tubes. And it very well could be a very important place. Do I say it's the most important place? I don't know. The skinny of it is this. There are some amazing people in the comments. There are some people in the comments of my videos who I never would have met if it wasn't for this platform, obviously, who have great insight and say great things. But again, trying to figure out tone in a comment is hard to do. I will give an example. When I posted my video like, oh, 1700 subs, Q&A, leave your questions down below. What? what? Somebody left a comment and was like, oh, that's very Steve Donahue-ish of you and did a little laughing face. I didn't know if the person was being an asshole or if they were just being funny. And I thought to myself, I'm like, they're probably joking around, right? And so I like responded and I'm, and again, it was like first thing in the morning. So I'm pissed off because I had to open my eyes. And um, so I'm just like, here it comes, motherfucker. And I start fucking yelling and shit. And I'm like, you, what did I say? I'm like, you have to know that people were doing Q&A videos before Steve, right? Like, you do understand this. Like, you can't be that stupid. And as I was writing it, I'm like, this is fucking passive aggressive as fuck. Do I hit send? What do I do? Because I'm trying to do this thing where I don't respond to people right away. And honestly, if I didn't respond to him at that moment, I probably wouldn't have responded to him at all. So I made some like ridiculous fucking blah, 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 comment probably shouldn't have done it but to give credit where credit's due the stand-up motherfucker that he is fucking um explained himself to me and he's like oh no i was just fucking around with you you know like it's cool and i'm like oh well shit feeling like a fucking asshole okay and it's good to get knocked down a peg every once in a while because sometimes I get on my fucking high horse and I'm fucking running my goddamn flapper here. You know, sometimes I, I guess I get too big for my britches. So when one of you like go, hey, you fucked up, you done fucked up. I'm like, oh, fair enough. OK, so nobody's perfect. I get it. And we're in a weird little world here. But I have noticed something, and it's something that bothers me to no end, and um, we're going to talk about it, and this is what it is. If you are a viewer, okay, you have a right to say whatever you want. Is it right for you to say anything you want? No, okay? But you have the right to do whatever the fuck you want. So if you want to be a complete fucking asshole, go ahead and be a complete fucking asshole. But if you're going to fucking leave a comment telling somebody, like, oh, the lighting's too bright on your videos. You need to get better lighting. This is really hard to watch. 
Okay, well, first off, turn the fucking brightness down on your computer, you fucking idiot. Or, don't watch the fucking channel. Okay? Like, the idea that people think that people do videos for this one person. And we, we just need to make sure that this one person is completely comfortable. Fuck off. Nobody fucking cares. I used to really like doing my videos in black and white. I thought that was so much fun. It made me happy. It made me happy, okay, to sit down here and edit a video. Because guess what? Editing videos, fucking, it sucks. Nobody likes to do it. When I was doing the black and white videos, that made it fun. Because I got to play with the color and I got to go back to, like, my filmmaking, like, artsy-fartsy shit. I enjoyed that. But guess what? People are like, that's jarring. It hurts my eyes. Somebody even said, you know what? I don't know if it's my age, but um, when I see something in black and white, it makes me not want to watch it. So people were giving me shit about that. And it got to the point where I'm like, you know what? I don't want to piss anybody off. I just want to enjoy what I'm doing. But because people bitching gets more like attention than people doing what makes them happy, the people who bitch always fucking win. And I guarantee the dude who did the video that was too bright is like fucking in a panic right now going, what the fuck do I do? How do I fix this? I don't want to lose viewers over my video being too fucking bright because fucking dipshit McFuckhead over here fucking said that it hurt their itty bitty eyes. Their little eyes hurt. Because the video was too bright. It made me rub my eyes. Who fucking cares? Like, it is so hard for most people to make a video at all that the last thing any viewer should do is make somebody feel fucking insecure about it. It is hard to do this. To put yourself out there in front of scrutiny and fucking all of the eyes that want to just like go, I have nothing to bring here other than to um, tear you down because I was brought up by wolves and have no idea how to fucking live in society, okay? That is the majority of the people who watch fucking YouTube. Especially the people who watch YouTube that don't have a channel. Now, again, I have amazing viewers and I enjoy talking to you guys in the comments. You guys are fucking amazing. Every once in a while though, some fucking punky Brewster fucking comes in thinking that their shit don't stink and they fucking talk a bunch of trash. And they think, oh, I'm helping. Unsolicited advice. Fuck off. Nobody cares. Jesus Christ. Get a fucking management job somewhere where, like, people give a shit about your fucking crappy fucking opinions. You know what I'm saying? If you have something to add to the conversation, add it to the conversation. But don't go after fucking YouTubers Hey, guess what? I will watch your channel more if you do the things I say. Some fucking authoritarian bullshit is that, dude? Come on. Oh, and honestly, if if we're going to fucking get nasty here, are we getting nasty? How much coffee have I had today? This is only my second cup, and I'm getting nasty already. And I'm just going to point this out because it's fucking true. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. It's fucking Thursday. You know what Thursday is? That's the day where I piss everybody off. I already said that. Here's the deal. Hey, do you guys have a small channel? Do you know how to make that channel not be small anymore? I'll fucking tell you. Do a video where you say, nobody watches my videos. Guess what's going to happen? A bunch of people are going to watch it. They're going to click on it because they're wanting to see you fucking melt down. Okay. BookTube, YouTube, any kind of tube, it's a, it's a fucking NASCAR race, guys. The people watching want to see us crash into the wall and create tons of carnage. That's what they really want. Like, they're not going to say, oh, because what they're going to say is, I'm here for the great discussions about books. They're not. They want to see motherfuckers burn. That's it. And that's fine. So when you do a video, nobody watches my videos. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
or another good one is um shit what is it i think i'm done like any video like that that's like i'm leaving booktube guaranteed is going to be your highest fucking count fucking video so if you want to get some subs if you want to get your fucking views up do something like that gaming the system yeah this is gaming the system throw a fucking temper tantrum and like kick your feet and fucking swing your hands and shit and motherfuckers will come flying i'll fucking come watch that you want to know why because i'm expecting a fucking car crash like this is fucking human nature this is not rocket science and then i think the only thing better than that are the videos after that where it's like god damn it the outpouring of support i got from that last video just fills my heart with joy and i'm i'm here to stay i can't wait to make more videos for you all okay and this is fine i'm not like i know this sounds like i'm poking fun at it but it's like i'm just the guy pointing to the burning house saying ah oh, fire like uh, like i'm not like stirring shit or anything like that i'm just pointing out the obvious here it's so funny um but yeah so if you are a total cock try not to be like if you watch a video i remember oh, what video was it i think it was when i was in big bear Anyway, it was hot as balls. It's hot as balls here now. And this is how this whole thing came up because I was wondering if I should put a fan up or move to a different location in this small box I live in to try to like fucking, you know, not die from heat exhaustion when I'm doing these videos. And I remembered a time when I was making a video and the ceiling fan, like the way I was situated, you can see the ceiling fan. And I have a ceiling fan here. And somebody left me like five comments in a row. Ceiling fans distracting. Next comment. I can't even concentrate on what you're saying because the ceiling fan is distracting. Next comment. I'm not going to watch your videos anymore if you have your ceiling fan on. It's just like... Okay, I heard you. You don't like the ceiling fan. You would rather me melt while I'm talking to you about Cervantes. Okay, I get it. But here's the thing. Fuck off. Who cares? If you don't want to fucking see the fan in the video, go like this when you're watching the video. If it's bothering you that bad. Or don't watch the fucking video. You don't have to watch every video that's on fucking YouTube, and you don't anyway, so fuck off. Who cares? Don't give people shit for giving you fucking content, especially on smaller channels that aren't monetized. Jesus fucking Christ. They're fucking making sure you're not bored, and you're bitching about it. You motherfuckers. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable Anyway... Let me know what you guys think down below. If you are a creator on um, the tubes here, has someone made you feel like shit over something fucking stupid that either they could fix themselves or they could go fuck off with? If you are a viewer, have you left comments on videos that were fucking shallow and shit because you were just being a fuck that day? I'm sure I have. Fuck, I, two months ago or a month ago, I was leaving shitty comments on a video because I was mad. Um, but yeah, like, what's going on? What do you guys think about this? How many of you guys have done the I'm leaving and watch your subs shoot up and have that video have, like, a gajillion views? How did that work out for you guys? In fact, I did a video when I moved from the desert back to Big Bear. I did a video, said the last video ever. That video, and it was just a video saying, hey, finally moving. Um, the next video you see from me will be in Big Bear. Okay? That video got a ton of views. Clickbaity as fuck. Whatever. But the, I'm leaving BookTube forever. That kind of shit. Oh, man, that fucking gets asses in seats. 
So if you want to fucking, like, kill it, if you want to fucking get some shit, dude. Asses in seats. That's how you do it. That's how you fucking sell out an arena. Okay. Anyway. Um, Potato Manifesto. Almost sold out of these. Los Angeles. That will be out on Tuesday. Um click join down below because obviously you want to become a member of this channel now after all of this diarrhea um yeah keep buying my books you guys are swell i enjoy you a great deal and i will talk to you guys later Bye bye I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you could run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.